Six weeks ago, we talked about sin. And when I say we, I'm talking about my father, Pastor Bruce, and my beloved, beloved friend, Pastor Mike. And then, a couple of weeks ago, we went and we led you to the cross. So, the result of leading you to the cross was the repentance of your sins to get you to understand what was accomplished. So today, today, I'm going to preach quickly, and I'm going to give you a chance to go to the throne and worship God yourself, because we don't really do that. So I'm going to get through this message, and when I get through this message fairly quickly, then I'm going to play a song. And all those who are believers in Christ, just worship Him for a period of time, and then we'll stop the music, we'll close in prayer, and we'll get you fed. So again... You know, I've been coming here for several years now, and I've seen a different, a lot of different faces. Some of the same ones and some new ones. And I've looked into a lot of eyes, a lot of eyes, especially these past week. I'm going to stand back here if you don't mind. Too much feedback. And I see that some of you are set free, but I also see that some of you want to be set free. You know, like a bird, you just want to fly away. And if you think about incarceration or those who have spent time in jail, those who call themselves an artist, what are the things that they draw the most? They draw birds. And why do they draw birds? Because they want to be set free. Now, let me give the paradox here. You're like a bird, brothers. If you're tired of being caught in the enemy's snare, and today... Today, you can't be set free like a bird. Because the Word of God tells us who the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen? Amen. So, in Psalms 127.7, our souls have escaped like a bird from the trapper's snare. The snare is broken and we have escaped. And in other words, we have been set free to fly. To fly away from the trap of the enemy. Did Jesus not say in Isaiah 61, 1, He has sent me to bind up and heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the physical and the spiritual captives, and the opening of the prison, and the eyes to those who are bound, trapped in the snare of the enemy, of the world both physically and spiritually. He can set you free from the snare, from the bondages of sin, only if you would just fly he has given us the air that we need to fly you see brothers in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God who formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life the very breath of air God gave us life did Jesus do this very thing in John 20 22 for it is written then he breathed on them and said receive the Holy Spirit. Brothers, do you not know it is also written in the winds blow where it wishes and you hear a sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes? So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. So God has given us the very air, the breath we need to fly as birds who is set free from captivity, catching flight on the wind of the Spirit of God. Written in Psalms 55, 6, it says, Brothers, who will give me wings? I ask, wings like a dove. Get me out of here on dove wings. I want some peace and I want some quiet. How many want peace and quiet? Praise God, praise God, praise God. It's all there, brothers, in the Word of God. It is written, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength and they will soar. They will soar. On wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. Do you want to be? Do you want to be free? Do you want liberty in God? If you do, brothers, you must first come to Jesus. Today, God gives you a choice: either choose life or death, heaven or hell, blessings or cursings. I confess with a joyful heart before all of you, before all of you, I have chosen life. I have chosen heaven, and I have chosen blessings. Hallelujah. And as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on. 
praise God. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It is written in Matthew 23, 37, brothers. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those who sent you. How often have I longed to gather you, your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were not willing. Are those today, as some of us in line, are we like Jerusalem? You are not willing? Under his wings as a hen to the chick who protects them, nourishes them, and one day, one day, brothers, they take flight. Don't kill the messenger as they killed the prophets before me, nor harden your hearts. Incline your ear. Incline your ear to God and choose you this day whom you will serve. And you will see what I see. And you will hear what I hear. And you will know what I know. And you will be set free so that you too, you too can fly. Now, I want every head bowed, every eyes closed. If you're a believer in Christ, do not be ashamed. I'm going to give you a few minutes to go and worship the Lord. If you want to be set free, today's the day of salvation. So every head bowed, please. Every eyes closed. That includes all the servers. Hold on one second, brothers. All right, here we go.
Thank you, brothers. Thank you. If there's anybody here that wants to be set free, set free from the enemy's snare, set free from the bondages of sin, raise your hands. Praise God. We got one. We got two. Anybody else? Today is the day of salvation, brothers. Today is the day. We got three. We got we got pastors here, so we got let's point them out. Pastors, if you will please come. We got this gentleman right here. Praise God. We got this gentleman here, and then we got this gentleman back here. Where's Brother Steve? Oh, Pastor Mike's going to take care of that gentleman right next to him. Brother Steve, will you come pray with this gentleman here, please? Praise God. Praise God. Remember, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Let's go to prayer while these while they get taken care of. Amen? Father God, we just glorify thee. I thank you for this beautiful day which you have made. I thank you for every heart that's standing in this line, Father. Every heart. Because I know the word goes forward and does what your purpose is. And it does not return void. Father, our responsibility is to plant the seed. Let the Holy Spirit come in and do what he will. Please soften the hearts that are hardened today that are in line, if there be any. And for those who are found in you, Lord Jesus, those who are covered by your blood, those who admit that they were a sinner, and now they are saved. Renew their spirits. Give them the joy that they need. Give them the strength that they need to endure when they go through trials and tribulations. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, we all say, Amen.